Hey, you know what day it is? It's Friday. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't feel like Friday. Party. Raise the roof. <laughs> Man, in my 2000s. Yeah. See, my shoulder doesn't... I can I can do this. Yeah, well, don't... I can, I can tilt the roof. Right, right. But so, what about the other one? Oh, Does it hurt when you do that? It doesn't hurt. It just clunks. Does stuff. it hurt when you do it? <laughs> A little bit. Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Was that so hard? <laughs> You All know, right. Hey, I speaking of that. So when I was at the doctor, oh, is this a doctor joke? I told him it hurts when I touch here. Uh huh. Hurts when I touch here. Uh huh. Uh huh. It hurts when I touch here. Uh huh. He says, "I think your finger's broken." Could be. I don't know. He Could might be right. Be, he yeah. might be onto something. Yeah. That's Maybe why, it's not your shoulder after all. That's why you went to eight years of medical school? Exactly. Doctors are smart. They are smart. Okay. So welcome to our Fin Friday episode of Men Are So Smart. We are so happy that you're here. We can't tell you. We know that you have like a million things that you, other things you could be doing. Right. And instead, you've decided to give your time to watching our show. And that means the world to us. It really does. Uh, our numbers are very good. And, you know, we don't do the show for the numbers, but I can't help but watch them. It's really kind of fun to see the subscriber number go up and... Uh, do you know that we're just about at 90,000 views right now? Holy cow. We're almost at 100,000 views. Uh, we've gone over the uh, 500 subscriber mark. Right. And in minutes viewed of our show, I think we're close to 700,000 minutes. Dang. So almost a million minutes. We're coming up on that. The more you watch, the more we grow. That sounds like a public service announcement. Yeah. Hey, you know, before we get to the fence stuff, I keep this. Yeah, what is that? Uh, it's, um, this is the next solve that we're going to reveal. Now, look how this comes to me. Well, wow. not like that. that. Imagine that's in there right now. Okay. okay. Wow. All right. So I get this envelope like this. It's uh, mailed to my work address. And here is the letter that comes with it. It's two pages. Holy cow. Ronnie, two Hand pages, handwritten, no uh -huh. and these are all of the answers to all of the clues to the poem in a condensed and pictorial on this little SD card right here. Sweet. Now I'm so gonna we got be... a new SD card out of the deal. <laughs> yes, Ronnie, that's the first thing I thought of. Now we have two. <laughs> Because Ronnie couldn't, how much is it for one of these? I don't know, they're like 18 bucks. And Ronnie couldn't kick down $18, yeah. you know? I, I did. Actually, I bought two. I bought one for the show. Yeah. And because it's my wife's camera, I bought one for her. Okay, well, do we actually need to? Yes, we do, right? Definitely. So there you go. We have a PayPal account now, paypal.me slash men are so smart. And um, you know what? This is technically a business. And we are providing a service. Worst business model ever. Right. And I, and I take ownership of that. <laughs> so uh, if you'd like to kick down a few bucks so that we can get some new equipment so that we might be able to go live on Sunday morning mass. Kind of awesome. I know, Ronnie, you're, you're really a big proponent of that. I think it'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But see, you know, you know, you know let's, let's talk about that for a second. Okay. Here's, sorry, didn't mean kick you uh, here's what I notice. When people are doing live shows, the people that are commenting are so involved in commenting, they're not even watching the show. They're not. Well, and by the same token, the people that are doing the show are so involved with what people are saying, they're, they're not saying anything relevant. Right. They're, do, they're not doing their show as they normally would. So it's a it's a little bit of a back and forth. Yeah, give and take. Oh, so-and-so just popped on. Right. Well, yeah. If you're not watching it live, it's like a total... Yeah. We got to try to get to the bottom of that and figure out how we can yeah. do that better. Because, yeah. you know, we don't like to half-ass stuff. No. Um, I'm kind of okay with three-quarter ass. I know, but me, no. It's got to be right or I, I just yeah. don't want to do it. So, uh, okay. Having said all of that, let's get to our comments from our previous videos from the from last week. Okay. All right. So let me start off and say, uh, Patrick S. writes, "Your effort will be worth the cold." He says, "I still believe I was standing right on top of the treasure. 
I will be going back whenever I get another good car. Hmm. Um, he says, you fly me out, I'll buy the beers, and we'll split the treasure, but I get the credit. I'm, I'm yeah. That's we can't, I don't think we can lose on that one. That sounds like a no-brainer. Well, I replied. Yeah. Uh, hey, he says, um, I said, Patrick S., hey, I got an idea. <laughs> Ronnie and I could start an airline company and we'll fly everyone with the solve out. Yes. You know, so searchers don't have any expenses and no risk. Right. We'll pay for everything and beer. And we get half the treasure if you find it. Let's see. Let's do some math. About 300,000 searchers. Right. No one's found the treasure yet. Right. Now that sounds like a good sound business decision. Well, Count us in. Plus, if you're going to suddenly finance every researcher to become a searcher mm -hmm. that might go up just a little bit yeah but that's okay we own an airline company right that's true that's we got, true we're, you know what we're doing we're just throwing win money out the window we're lighting freaking cigars with hundred dollar bills over here damn tootin fig newton yeah okay so patrick s uh we will be here on the left coast waiting uh i said if you want to come to the left coast i'm buying the beer and you ronnie and i are going to barbecue, yep. smoke cigars, drink yep. beer and tequila, and sing Kumbaya under a full moon. Best night of your life, guaranteed. That's what it's all about, creating moments. Yep. You know, staying in the moment of things that are going on in your life. All right, so today on Fen Mail Friday, we're doing your communications with us via comment. So I this one, I have to read this one. Please. This is my, this is the most amusing one to me okay. of the week. Uh, it's from uh, Chalmers Bryant. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I yes. forgot about this. Okay, I, go ahead. So This is good. He starts off, gee, another GoFundMe site. If you need money for traveling to interview Mr. Fenn, then go get a job like most of us Fenn hunters. Huh. Wow. I didn't know we didn't have jobs. Yeah. He goes on to say, oh, Lou, good, good. Lou, Lou, you look still able to maybe flip burgers. I don't know about that. Probably not. Uh, I know there is an in and out in SAC. There's a couple. A couple. Uh, and Ron could drive his vet down there to New Mexico, and this will save you the rental fee. Huh. Well, we weren't going to drive anyway. No. We, we were going to we're gonna fly. Yeah, I can, can't imagine riding yeah. 400 miles in that Corvette. No. Uh, then he goes on to say, you guys are getting snarky lately. Snarky? Lately? <laughs> uh, always? <laughs> oh, and then this is the best part. Toby and Shelly have way more listeners than you two ever will have, but keep trying anyway. What are you, in fifth grade? <laughs> that is the most childish troll oh my I think gosh. I've ever read, dude. It's a little bit, I don't know. Like, first of all, we don't care. No. Because what they do is nothing like we what we want to do. No. They do... At a minimum of a one-hour show. Right. Uh, I don't think Lou and I could sit for one hour straight. No, not without peeing. Right. Uh, we'd have to have a like a plastic line going down our leg. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, uh, they may have more viewers, and that's great. I mean, good on them. Right. That's a that's a huge accomplishment, uh, and they've earned it. I mean, sure. I, I'm not not taking anything away from them. Uh, Lou, his his response is, Chalmers Bryant, thanks for the comment. I'm going to look into that job thing. Sounds like a great idea. Thanks I have, again. I have nothing but time. <laughs> and then Steve Klein, uh, he threw in his two cents worth, says, well, damn, tell them how you really feel, Chalmers Bryant. And at Mass, put a link up to tell people how to donate. All right, and there's that link again. A uh, Sledneck checked in. Oh, boy. We love us some Sledneck. He says, good topic, guys. This was on social media blocking, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, he says, I've only been blocked by two channels, AGK. A Gypsy's Kiss. And CalPro. AGK called me a nut job <laughs> and accused me of harassing bison in Yellowstone National Park simply because they lacked the knowledge of what really is, a reality is. K-Pro thought she could boss me around, and upon putting her in her place, she banned and blocked me from a few networks. 
So in my experience, blocking can be a useful tool for the weak. We like to imagine that they are never wrong. Yeah. Uh, and I'll say this. I mean, so Slednak yeah. was, he wasn't a believer. No. When he first started uh, watching us. And I think we've, we've won him over a bit. And he's still, he's still his own man. Yeah, oh yeah. Don't make any, don't make any bones about it. If, if he doesn't like something that we've done, he lets us know about it. Sure. And that's the way, exactly the way we want it. Yeah. Yeah. We would change have a it. thing. We would not have it any other way. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, this comment is from Rich Ard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is something we've been talking about. He says, great channel, but just a few suggestions to make it perfect. Okay. Which is what we're striving for. Right. Uh, get off your butts, go live, drink beer, and cook hot dogs over fire during your show. Now that's content. Yes. That would be some amazing content right there. <laughs> Have a little Weber. Yeah, right behind right us. Right back here. Especially during the winter. Not so much in July. Yeah, no, not in California. Yeah. Not uh, a good idea. And uh, you said, Richard, when you're right, Right? You're really right. You're really right. Uh, Robert said, I agree with you, Rich, but you have to drink your beers like Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm not sure how he drinks them. Uh, but there's no way he could drink them better than me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he might I like drink more, but... Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> and then Richard came back and said, in my book, any way you drink beer works, minus using a straw. See, there you go. Yeah, for the love of God, never use a straw. Hot? Oh, go ahead. Uh, and my last comment was... Richard, it's something we're working on as we speak. So mm -hmm. that's the the funding now since Forrest has kind of shot us down, doesn't prefer to do any more interviews. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to use whatever funds we get to put towards the equipment we need to go live. And see, that's why I continue to say we don't want to half-ass it. Right. I want to do it right the first time, and I don't want to be switching butt buttons and pushing wrong buttons like somebody else on another show does playing jip playing music <laughs> <laughs> how did they get away with that by the way i'm not sure i understand that yeah and then you know what else he did he played one of those uh hump day commercials oh the geico you know oh, with the camel. yeah yeah how does he have permission to do that mike 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 that's the one <laughs> lou and this is from hot rod mav and i think mav means maverick uh, Lou and Ronnie, bobbleheads? Yes, please. My cubicle is pretty lame and could use a little mass attention. Super amped about a Forest Fen barbecue and beer interview. Make it happen, guys. Sorry, I, I did everything in my power. Corvette Ronnie says, Hot Rod Mav, my fear is that a Ronnie bobblehead will be way more popular and ruin Lou's confidence. Check this out. I mean, this is a face. I can't deny it. <laughs> I, I simply can't deny it. Uh, Cot Rod Mav says, Corvette Ronnie, only if you wear your Corvette shirt. I uh, I could do that. But if he wears his Yankee gears, watch out. A uh, Yankee gear, watch out. Yeah. Uh, and Ronnie says, um, that would certainly keep some people from buying his, the Yankee jersey. Mine would be popular in the Corvette crowd. Yep. Yeah. Which is a huge crowd. Of 65-year-old men. People over 60, yep. Yeah. A huge crowd of people collecting AARP. Right. Yeah, okay. walking to AARP. That's a better umbrella right yep. there. All right. Uh, let me see. Oh, now this one I, I liked. It's, uh, from Indulgence. And he says, funny, funny thing about blocking accounts that some people don't know, takes less than two minutes to create a new account with a new name. It's the hula hoop of the net. <laughs> Nobody is ever really blocked unless they want to be a uh, great show, guys. So I replied, I've blocked people before. And only to realize that the person is back under a different name. Like fungus. Uh, I always give their new profile a chance to make it before blocking them again. So in other words, okay, I've blocked name A. Okay. Now they come back under name B. Right. And you know what? And if they're civil uh, or if they, and this is on my Facebook stuff. I don't, I don't have, I have nothing to do with blocking people on our channel, but that's all Lou. By the way, so send your hate mail there. Yeah. Uh, but on my Facebook page, if if you come back with a better attitude, you and I are going to get along just fine. New and, and improved. New and improved. <laughs> Ajax. <laughs> For tough states. Stronger than dirt. 
somewhere out there says, hey, maybe if you two went shirtless, your female demographics would improve. Come on, show them your six packs. Or is that a keg? What did you say, Ronnie? I said in my case, it's a kegerator. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, we mentioned in a previous episode on a Fen Mail Friday last week, you don't need a psychic, just a mentalist to pull it from his brain. <laughs> I want a psychic in here, smelling of uh, candles <laughs> and yeah. witch hazel. Well, and, and maybe they can just hold the book. Yeah. And like, oh, uh, I see it. I see it buried. <laughs> it's buried. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Richard R., did you read this? Seriously, put away your 8-track players, your VHS machines, and join the Millennium. There is this thing called PayPal you can use for donations. Simply put a link on your description. Okay, so there we have it. It's paypal.me slash men are so smart. You can donate there. We're not looking to get rich off of your money. We're looking no. to reinvest it into equipment. It's right. that simple. Right. All right. Uh, this one is from Man in the Park. Okay. And again, this is about the blocking and social media. All right. Uh, he says, I agree that everyone should have the right to block anyone on their own feeds or threads. I am, however, completely against YouTube blocking or defunding or whatevering people and their videos because they don't like the videos. I mean, yes, maybe there should be a line like one... No showing death or nudity, but I'd be willing to even say those should be shown for the cause of freedom of speech. In fact, it's called YouTube. Uh, maybe it should have it uh, be where if their content isn't that doesn't fit certain guidelines, that content can only be viewed by subscribers. That way, if someone wants to watch it, they can. But that's this, a great idea. His whole this uh, whole counter uh, counteracting conspiracy theory very. very videos and religious videos is just garbage in the face of free speech. YouTube can suck it. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and you know, my thing is YouTube isn't really social media by the, by their definition, by my definition kind of is. Uh, I know you've been saying that and I'm still on the fence. You post something just like in Facebook and people react to it. And they either react positively or negatively. It's it's a lot like Facebook. Yeah. Um, you know, when you explain it that simply, Ron, it makes perfect sense. So I mean, we interact with our viewers so much so that it's actually more than we do on our social media pages. Oh, yeah. I mean, we do a lot on our Facebook page, and that's our platform of choice for the show, it's Facebook, at Men Are So Smart. Uh, and there's really, there's always good fun stuff there to check out. But yeah, that's the same thing. It's all, our our main stuff is right here. Carrie Toe says, really enjoy you guys. Always get a chuckle or two. Proud to be part of the 2%. We're shooting for 3%. I thought we were shooting for 1% and we were good, doing good. <laughs> I said, thanks, Carrie. We'll try to do better. <laughs> Man in the Park says, you guys are entertaining. Thank you. Well, we appreciate you, Man in the Park. Um, is that just about it, I think, yeah. Ronnie, that we can get to today? Yeah. Chris Kibble, funny show, guys. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Ronnie says, we can do better, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> we can always do better. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Big Whoopi uh -huh. on a comment uh, uh, on a, from a show called Wanna Piss People Off. He says, so my wife used to get mad after me putting the toilet seat down after I'm doing my thing. I said, okay, sure, no problem. After this happened many times, I finally got tired of getting yelled at. So I started putting the seat down and the lid. Wow, that's going the extra mile. Pissed her off, and when she had to get up and do her thing in the middle of the night, she don't bug me no more. <laughs> Guys, there's the answer right there. Just put the cover down. <laughs> with the with the seat. You know what? I can't remember. It was on this same comment. I don't have it pulled up, but yeah. I will paraphrase it. And he said, basically, there's a hygienic reason right. for putting everything down yeah. before you flush. Exactly. Because when you do flush, there's this, it creates, and they've done this scientifically, and it's proven out, 
that you get microscopic droplets spread out through like a six foot cone. And so, yeah, they could end up on your toothbrush, they could end up on your, your hand towels and everything yeah. else. My reply was that if it ends up on my toothbrush and that's what toilet water tastes like, then I like it. Mmm. Yeah. Toilet water toothbrush. Wow. With a little crest on there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's good for you. It builds yeah. up your uh, immune system. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, King of Rabbit Hole says, you guys are about the only ones that haven't blocked me yet. Maybe because I treat you all better. It helps if yet. you have a badge. Yet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ronnie says, I think your comments are top notch. Who could have a problem with that? And honestly, we can even deal with comments that are negative. We just brought you one. Right. And they tend to make our channel better. Good good observation, Ronnie. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> and and I think we're going to end on that right there. Okay, because the next one is very political, and you know how we avoid that. Yeah, we don't do we don't do political. All right. So uh, men are so smart can be seen on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now on Sunday for Sunday Mass. Mass being men are so smart, of course. I uh, wanted to mention that uh, we have a pen a PayPal account pen pal. <laughs> we have a PayPal account set up. Uh, because we'd like to buy the equipment that we need to be able to go live on Sunday mornings when we do Sunday morning Mass. You know that's just going to piss off Chalmers Bryant. Yeah, it is. So let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so that address is paypal.me slash men are so smart. And uh, you can do that at any time that you're watching this video. It doesn't happen to be just this morning. Uh, uh, we, we will be staying with you. Till about 10 o'clock, Ronnie uh, will be doing it from probably out of town. Uh, but at the same time, uh, he, he'll be there and oh, yeah. chiming in. Oh, yeah. And we do that for about the next, oh, I guess, two and a half hours. Uh, anything you want to ask us, anything that you'd like to say. It's all it's all there. Yeah, we're, we're there for you. So yep. uh, let's see, on Facebook at menaresosmart.com. Our website is menaresosmart.com. Um, and check out our website. We've got some good stuff on there. Yeah. And, and I think that's it, Ronnie. Anything you'd like to chime in with? Hi, Forrest Finn. Hey, Forrest. Thanks for watching, buddy. Appreciate yeah. it. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Salute. I'd like to give a salute to Forrest all the time. Major Finn. Yeah, he was military, so. Yep. Respect. Ground control to Major Finn. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the next Men Are So Smart. <laughs>